Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Polly and today we have uh, a haul. Yes, it's a very diverse haul. It's a very strange haul. <laughs> my taste is indeed all over the place. So let's get to it. We're going to do the haul and then um, next videos are going to be just reviews for these fragrances. So let's get to this. The strangest thing that I did. Let's start with that. Why not? Because it doesn't make much sense. But it kind of does if you know these fragrances you know that they're really not the same let me tell you what i'm uh, going for so i got a sample not even a sample it's like a i wanted to say soggy tissue but kind of like a tissue in a bag saturated with a fragrance and i got three of them and i used them throughout like about a year or so and i liked it and i was like you know I'm, I'm here for it. I want a bottle of it. I really enjoyed it. It's kind of my soft and cozy, very motherly, just, you know, I just love those kind of fragrances. It's great for work, great for everything. And I'm talking about Donna Karen Cashmere. Now, I have it. I love it. I think um, I got this for my birthday. I just really do enjoy it. It's so, I don't know clean it's like there's a little bit of aldehyde in it just a, just a smidge you know just to give you that mom kind of feeling it's just my association so it's not necessarily for everybody it's going to be the same but it's soft and yeah it's very like cashmere sweater that your mom is wearing i don't know i enjoy it so then what did i do i'm like oh my god fragrance net and their prices so i got the donna karen cashmere aura especially because on the reviews and for granted um people would compare oh i love this one better i love that one better this is amazing if you can get it your hands on it get it it's discontinued you know peer pressure i know i'm right there with you you know that one goes and you get it now looking at the notes i will do a comparison even though i don't really think it's necessary since this is discontinued but just for the heck of it they are different like the experience is different the vibe is different so i would not use them for the same thing far from it but ta-da two donna karen cashmere fragrances don't judge well if you want to judge you can judge i don't care uh, another addition that I've been waiting for this, um, it's almost like I have a collection, but it's not, it's not like my goal is not to collect. It's just, you know, sometimes you just find your little corner. You're like, oh my God, I really like what these creations. So I finally got the Narciso Rodriguez for her out of toilette in the black one. I have almost all of them. God, I just love what he does i just i love this musk it's not a sweaty musk but it's also not very fluffy and white which i do like but i love it mm, so god i love what you do so i do love that one i'm really happy <laughs> and yeah you know i broke i broke down and i got the brazilian Crush 62 was it pistachio salted caramel blah 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 you know but this one it's a body mist i will not repurchase the scent is great um who cares i mean i did get on a discount on all that but it really doesn't last i have body mists for six dollars that last for hours this one not even an hour I do use it at home I spray it um, I'm one of those that at home my husband hates it <laughs> but I really don't look my best like my goal at home is to be comfortable plush cozy comfortable I don't want, like mm, like things are oversized and soft that is my goal and I enter into my home clothes the second I get back home from anywhere. So I always have a robe, very soft and plush and fluffy. 
and certain fragrances I just kind of spray you know on the collar so I just always have whips of it and it lasts on fabric obviously longer so that's how I enjoy this one and I do it's great for that purpose then um, I'm always kind of saving the best for last. It's not only they're the best. They're just like, I was really happy about them. And if you guys know the fragrances we're going to talk towards the end, if you have any recommendations additional from those lines, please let me know, especially about one of them. But either way, so these next two I got, well, one in Sephora, one in Ulta, and they're wonderful. We're also going to do a full review on them. So I'm going to keep it short. But from the hairline way, right? I think that's how you say it. So I got one of their fragrances. Uh, I got North Bondi. This one. I do love the package. I love uh, very slick, minimalistic. And I love that it's not another huge bottle to my collection. Because I'm drowning in bottles. I'm not a hoarder. I'm a collector. And I don't like when it becomes almost like a hoarding situation. But either way, ta-da. I am pleased. We'll have a full review. Now from another one by Josie, by Rosie Jane. So I got this one, Rosie. We'll talk. It's gorgeous. I love it. And another one that I got from them. I will go more detail on my review of this one. I also got, so who, who are you? Dylan? Yeah, I got Dylan, travel size. I got travel size. And I got Lake, full size, returned it. Why? We'll get into it later. It's going to be like a mini review on that one, I guess, as well. Another one that I got is from this brand, also in Sephora, the Fleur. Mm -hmm. So, smelling them all, I started with Missing Person. We'll do a review on that as well. I read a lot of the kind of reviews on this, and they were so negative, and I don't understand why. Because I disagree with the negative reviews. Um, I think, you know, have your expectations kind of appropriate. And for what I was looking, this fragrance definitely satisfies a type of fragrances that I do like. This one's great. I don't know what the complaint is, but oh well, we'll get to that one as well. <sighs> this one was on Amazon. I saw it and I'm like, ooh, pretty bottle. Ooh, not expensive. Ooh, Middle Eastern. Let's get it. So <laughs> I'm talking about this one. So the box is kind of squished, but it's not like I keep these guys either way. But the bottle, I mean, it's beautiful. It's almost like, like a niche fragrance. And it's heavy. And the cap is heavy. We're also going to do a full review on this one. So this is by La Tapa Mayar. Mayar. And it's pink. It's pink. I know. Summer, spring. Here we go. So I don't know if I did mention in my, one of my previous hauls. Because it's, you know, been seven years since last one. <laughs> it feels like it. I got from Alexander J the Majestic Jardine. I keep giving this brand a chance. It's not that it's disappointing, but it's just it's not hitting it. I just like ah. Oh. And there's um one more that I want to try, and then I'm thinking like, should I? Will it be the same? <laughs> so I don't know. Um, we'll go over this one. I do think I mentioned this one, but I'm just going to throw it in there. So I did get the Montal Oud Dream. I do want to do a full review. It's set. And we're going to get into this one. Yeah. We'll get into it. Okay. There's no such thing as a haul on this channel without Montal or Mancera, right? So besides that one, we got some Mancera. So we got two from Mancera. <laughs> so one is one that I loved from the very beginning I just didn't think it was something I really needed it's definitely not one that I'm going to reach for a lot so I was waiting until I can find it in a really price that kind of justify is going to justify my use of it but I always loved it 
And I am talking about Citrapolis. I always love this fragrance. As much as I do wear men colognes and fragrances and more masculine, something here just doesn't scream me to wear it. But I gotta love to smell it. I love to smell it. I love to smell it. I want to smell it everywhere. So I kind of use it for myself when I'm in the mood for the scent. Um, maybe even a pillowcase. I don't care. Um, it's a very expensive pillowcase scent. I know, but I I I love it. Although I do think it's a little bit different from the sample that I had. It could be. I mean, I don't see the reason if you're just changing the cap, like from the screws to, you know, this um, kind of, how do you call them? You know what I'm talking about. That they would actually change the juice. I mean, why would that go hand in hand? But I don't know. Some people say that they did and the screw caps bottles have more of the original scent and the ones that are change are somewhat different or reformulated i don't know maybe but i am picking up on a bit of a difference on my sample that i kind of based this purchase on from their uh from a really reliable website it would dry down very like warm and sweet on me and this one kind of a little a little bit a little bit a lot less but either way and then I was not, how can I say it? So if you see my review on this one, I think it was two years ago, it's two years ago. Yeah. So, okay. So change, we change, we change, right? Taste change, what we smell change, preferences change. But it wasn't like all negative. Like there was always an aspect that I really loved, but there was something that was like really bothered me. Um, and, uh, I'm referring to Jardine Exclusive that I finally purchased. What bothered me was the musk. And I gotta say, it's still there. <laughs> the musk didn't go nowhere, even though it's one of these um, caps. But for me, one is nostalgia. And I did say that it reminds me of a floor being washed, like when I would go to a supermarket in the morning and it's right after they wash the floors. And that's how it smells, with the fruits in the fruit aisle. And it's nostalgic, it smelled great. We always try to find, um, me and my mom, what they used and they would never disclose, like, oh my God, what a secret, right? But either way, we loved how it smelled. It reminds me of that. Um, not that it smells like floor cleaner, no. But that with the mask that is Middle Eastern kind of, it's nostalgic for me and I'm getting now a lot of that more fruity aspect of it um, so I do like it plus big thing I so I decided so the fragrances that I love but are challenging that you will definitely find them on ceremonial right like they <clears throat> like you love the smell but uh, something just not working not working you're just you're having a hard time with it so for me those fragrances require a very different application that is the key that is the solution and basically you got to work with a cloud you got to work walk into a cloud three clouds but under no circumstances is this what you do you don't apply it right here when it's suffocating you. You don't squish like this grease ball of scent concentrated on your neck. No. You spray, you create a nice fluffy cloud and you walk into it, let it kind of disperse, and then you will enjoy it. That's what I do with this and it works. And it's beautiful. I wore it to, um, to the clinics and no one even said anything. No one even smelled it because of how I wore it. So, and it lasted me until night. I still smelled it on myself, obviously, because, but no, no complaints, no nothing. Somebody said like, oh, you kind of smell, I guess, like fresh fruity or something, but it's barely noticeable. Okay. 
Now for the final, final four. Two from each, uh, not category, but like a brand. So, since I was so impressed with the first one that I got from this line, um, Chiare, I don't know. I don't remember. I can barely pronounce it when I'm reading it, so I'm definitely not gonna remember it. But, so this is from True Sardi line. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Listen, Jama Shop hooked me up. Well, they didn't, but they have great prices. So I was like, ah. So this was purchased a long time ago, months and months and months and months ago. This was a more recent purchase. <clears throat> so we have Aperitivo Milanes Portanova. And we have Passeggiate in Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. Listen, <laughs> I try, I try. But um, we'll review these. There are a couple of others that I'm curious about. So they have another line. I don't think it's a line. It's kind of like a on the side. So far they have two. They, the bottles look the same, but they're both black. And it's not the New Year Musk. There are two other ones. I couldn't find any reviews. But I don't know. I'm kind of like, mm, I'm curious because the quality is there. And then there's other two. I think one is green, which is more a leather. But I'm very confused if it's going to be like a good leather to smell or a good leather to wear as well as to smell, right? I'm learning not everything that smells good means you want to wear it. And then there's another one with lemons and stuff and juniper and kind of more citrusy juniper scent that is more for summer. But is it good? I don't know. All right. If you know them and they are good, let me know. La finale. I'm so happy about these. But there's another one. There's no, there's two more that I wanted to try. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should I? Should I? Should I? I kind of want to, but I'm scared. All right. So, Quinto Canto. Yes, it's not the Canto, it's Quinto Canto. Right? Right? Do I get an A? All right, first person that didn't say di canto, quinto canto. So the V is just a Roman five. So basically, I got Kashmir and Tsikuta. The other two that I'm curious about are Magnificent or Magnificent, Magnificante, something like that, and um, not Strictina. Has like a like po not poisonous not strictina. There's another one from the red line with um I don't know. how do you go? with with absent. So I don't know. But if you also use this line or you have something from this line that you think is really really good and beautiful, let me know. I have my eye on this because this is quality so good it's so unique we'll get into it but uh yeah i believe this is it for today this is the whole i'm waiting for your suggestions regarding these two lines um i'm really i'm involved i'm involved all right well thank you again for joining me and i'll see you guys next time thank you